right, so we traded in our quest in Feralus and got ourselves to the Yungoro crater, which is just a massive jungle crater. One of my favorite locations, but one that is not without danger. There are a few things that uh, one should know about the crater. Over here is King Mosh. King Mosh is like the Uber T Rex level 60 elite. Down here are elite Stegosaurus. Maybe leader level 50 something uh, Stegosaurus. And then the reason why you see all of these little dots where people died is because there are devil sores running around. Basically, T Rexes, mid 50s, uh, I think 54, 55. Um, elite monsters. They are fast, they are fierce, they are ruthless, and if you don't have good situational awareness, oh boy, they're going to fuck you up. Uh, the amount of time when one of them almost ran into me was like staggering, uh, which for us means uh, we are going to be like very, very, very careful uh, here. And we're rather erring on the side of caution than anything else because uh, this is tough. Stone Guardians, luckily for us, are non-threatening. So, Yunguru soil, plenty of it, as well as these little crystals. Uh, so, that'll be our first job. And you can see, we also have uh, dinosaurs to kill. I'm not 100% sure what the crystals were for, but I know they were for quest. So yeah, what I tend to do in environments that are tough to deal uh, with is I'm continuously just looking around because I know if there is an elite uh, here that can be a bearer of bad news for sure not going to uh, force our luck instead we're going to be really really careful so what we want to do with the uh, smaller dinosaurs is just, just kill them claws and a lot of soil which apparently these guys carry as well so that's a two for one and thanks to our illustrious buffs that we're still having we should be fine so if we're buffed we're going to go strong let me just start getting these guys down Good. First interesting find, uh, we got a mangled journal, which allows us uh, to return it, I think, up here. It kind of leads us uh, to there. And there's a ragged raft, which we are moving towards. Oh, it should be another delivery quest. I know that these crystals were used. But, uh, you needed uh, so and so many of each color, I think, for one of the quests. So, yeah, over a great zone, I used to come here with a empty quest log. And then just effectively filled it up and did all of the quests at once. So we got a key, 
Couple of daggers. And the map. Uh, yeah, well, let's focus on killing the dinosaurs first. We can always do uh, the rest. I don't remember that uh, quest from the top of my head, but we definitely should be trading some of the things in soonish. Careful with the raptors. They are social creatures. They typically screech when they are going down. These Ravisaurs are good for various reasons. They have soil, they do have claws. Uh, so that's two things. I distinctly uh, remember that this here was one of the best questing hubs uh, just due to the density of quests. I had a specific uh, order in uh, how I was uh, doing all of the quests. I just ran up, got the five point, essentially did all of the quests. There is one quest that I still remember, which is a gorilla in a cave, uh, but it is on a gorilla, it's actually an artificial gorilla. Um, and then a lot of the drop quests, and on top of that, uh, the different uh, quests that, that you could uh, find here. And then there were also quests in the middle. So long-winded way of saying i know that it's like 150,000 xp per uh, level i'm pretty sure um within a matter of one one and a half hours i almost had uh, two levels so i definitely know that this can be super lucrative but on hardcore it's not necessarily about just how fast you can um, grind experience if that would be my measure of, that, uh, of approaching the challenge. I would be AOE uh, farming enemies non-stop because I can get easily 150k XP per hour, but it is also ultra risky. And it's just a matter of time until either your connection has a little bit of a latency issue, something awkward is going wrong, or yeah, it's just a mispull or whatnot. So at the end of the day, if I remember correctly, when it comes to the soil, right, there were actual soil tiles on the ground. I'm not reading that up, right? Uh, there were soil piles on the ground that you could eat. Gosh, it has been a long time. Well, that's part of that challenge as well. Not making two levels in two hours anymore. just continue grinding for a bit all right just want to showcase how a devil sore looks like that is exactly what you're getting pretty gnarly huge individual now that i do have him marked i feel a little bit better emphasis on a little not much. He's patrolling the area, so it's very much possible that we're going to see him come back. Luckily for us, I zoomed out quite a bit, so as and when we're seeing him, he's still far away, so there is enough time to flee. We could take a few hits, but given the terrain here, 
it's all but unclear whether or not we would even get away. I wouldn't want to take my chances. Alright, grinding on. Okay, so we got most of uh, the smaller raptors. Time to get uh, carcasses. Starting with one here. Soil, 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 soil. Okay, all of that is Yunguru soil. And I'll just walk around the edge because it is safer. Um, getting super sticky tar and then going to the flight point because I think we can trade in a couple of uh, quests already luckily for us so far we haven't uh, seen another devil sore but it won't be the last time that we've seen them okay let's move to the camp all right speaking of which of course even at the edges we're running into devil sores uh, gosh guys are already annoying on normal uh, we're already annoying on normal um, uh, servers but on hardcore it, yeah it hits different all right let's get um, past them could we reach the tar pits up here luckily that is a pretty clear area and we're fighting a couple of tar beasts for 12 super sticky glue. Not the Tenaris uh, quest. Which I think does have to follow up with uh, the crystals, if I'm not fully mistaken. And by the way, I was right, there are uh, piles of dirt on the ground which you can uh, use in order to get Unguru soil. So that indeed ha happened. All right, these monsters. We got burning tar and sticky tar. So yeah, uh, we just don't want them to get uh, close. I remember that uh, for whatever reason, uh, many people were on that same quest spot and then not enough tar beasts were left over. Can't imagine that that is going to happen here. If I was to take a very wild guess, I am potentially the only player in Unguru Crater. Let's take a good look here. Yeah, I know. Who would have guessed, right? No one wants to deal with uh, giant dinosaurs that are randomly running around, interrupting you with questing. And I can't, yeah, I can't blame them. But I still wanted to showcase the area to you. I hope I'm not going to regret it. And yeah, in the next video, once we're done here, we're likely going to go to the uh, bad, uh, bad ones. Because uh, there are quite a few quests for the large dawn as well, so might as well start that nice and early. All right, grinding on with the tar beasts. I'll notify you if something happens. All right, took a little bit longer than expected, but we got 12 of uh, these bad boys down, and we even found something interesting, a living essence, which apparently goes for almost 10 gold in the auction now. So for my humble situation, that's not a bad catch. Lots of small bloopers there, all of them level 40. Should be 
Perfect. Don't want to be aggroed by them. Okay, so back to business. Where have we been? Oh yeah, damn right. We wanted to trade in a couple of quests. For starters, a little bit of this. Oh, level 55 quests. No, thank you. Let's hand in as many quests as we can for now. And listen, before we're continuing here, I think we're going back to Tenaris and are handing in the quests there as well. Uh, careful over here. Don't want to run into a NPC that could flag me. Yeah, I think in here we are getting that uh, quest Crystals of Power, yeah. I always found that blur that they're using very good. I mean, for the graphic of uh, that day and age. Eastern and Western uh, pylon. I think we can do that. I just need more quests, man. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if we can uh, repeat the crystal thing. I vaguely remember that if you trade them in again, they give you a buff of sorts, or you can use them for a buff of sorts. For now, we just need to discover different uh, pylons, and we, we will do that, no worries. But I would also like to discover uh, the flight path and get a little bit out of here. Cool. So let's fly to Tenaris, uh, trade in our quest, and take it from there. All right, super sticky. That uh, removes the quest, and we got some gold out of it. Perfect. Couldn't be happier. Uh, let's. Maybe also browse. Do we? I will need to check the bank and just deposit we have we're running into a space issue and whilst we're at the trade-in I decided to just uh, take the level 52 uh, skills and at the same time uh, go to Ogrimmar trade in a few quests get paid for it and overall feel awesome So we do have one more quest in the hinterlands. I'm not 100% sure if I would want to trade that in at the moment, uh, but the question is when else would we do it? Hmm. Yeah, but nah, we're going uh, back to the Unguru crater. Uh, that'll uh, that's a bit much even for my standards. I mean, we're uh, quick to travel from A to B, but 
the flight towards the hinterlands is always it takes a long time all right we're going back to Teneris. rather unguro crater okay we're back in the mix and as you can see on the map oh boy i have taken on quite a few quests and that is good because we are going to uh, do most of them let's start uh, with the webbed paradox uh, up here the, ver uh, the very edges of the map are luckily not a territory where uh, the uh, devil swords are coming uh, to so it's relatively safe to just go in and kill whatever we have to kill still looking around from time to time you never know but yeah we need uh, these little pterodacts and uh, get pelts from them eight to be precise so quite a bit uh, too far what else do we need uh, up here uh, we do have uh, the uh, quests around uh, the gorillas oh yeah i remember these guys do have fear doesn't matter because we're an undead but still okay so what else do we need to do we do have uh, the uh, whole apes um, right here still need to get unguro soil uh, the plants the flares uh, all over the place a couple of dinosaur bones yeah and visiting uh, this pillar this pillar here and this pillar there so those are the things that we immediately need to do there is potentially more but let's start with those good first pylon is being visited this is um, the follow-up uh, quest of our uh, little crystals i think the crystals if i'm not mistaken are repeatable i might completely be wrong but i think they are repeatable and i think you can get buffs for it should be plenty of pterotox but apparently that's not the case yeah we're going to find them no worries all right moving on speaking about dinosaurs dimitradons are also on our list in this case we need a web dimitradon scales uh, just uh, like the pteratons And yeah, both of them are dropping uh, bones, so uh, that's an option as well. Overall, we will need to kill quite a few uh, dinosaurs. Whilst avoiding the T-Rex. Since we're the only ones uh, here, I have the gut feel that yeah, we're being uh, completely left to our own devices. Gonna chuck an arcane elixir. And yeah, we're continuing to grind on for now. Always super careful with these guardians. Never use AoE around them. They are level 61 in each. And once you have aggroed them, you do have a all right i'll fast forward a little bit for you okay we're in the middle of hunting a lot of the dinosaurs and i just figured uh, we need to kill even more plants so uh blood petal pressure is the name of uh, the latest plant gotta kill five of uh, these uh, and realize that we need to overall kill 20 plants uh, that are located all over Goro crater, uh, crater. Uh, 
the advantage of needing to kill literally everything is you can just freely begin to pull and no one is going to stop you the disadvantage of killing so many of them is it'll take a long time like I'm doing, of course, time skips for you guys so that you don't need to sit through too much of it. But boy, oh boy, sometimes um, just going through 20 mobs is, uh, yeah, just takes a lot of time. On Although I'm already pulling uh, very fast and am almost taking no time off. Anyways, fast forwarding for you. All right, things are becoming a little bit clearer as uh, we have killed a lot of uh, the enemies that were very populated, so the map is freeing up, which also gives us the first indication that uh, things are going in the right direction. We got most of the plants uh, and about half of the dinosaurs. Uh, in front of us is the expedition crate. So we're going to take a look at that next. So far, no Tyrannosaurus Rex, so well, that's a good uh, sign. I think there was no ambush here. No, I think that was just getting the crate and we're done. Perfect. Next up, Eastern Pylon, uh, Pylon here, and uh, we're also getting a couple more of the dinosaur bones as well as webbed scales. So fast forward for you guys. Good. Next up, we have another Pylon. This time in the east. Explore it. Gain the quest reward for it. Profit. I think this here was the graveyard or is the graveyard in case you're dying. All right, fast forwarding for you guys. I'm still working on the scales. Um, I hope uh, the um, Pterodux will drop uh, them so that we're at least done here. And I'll hand in that quest down here, then move into the middle. Good. Made it all the way down to here. And we gotta kill... Oh yeah, these Revenous... Um, these Revenous uh, Predators in order to get their gland. So I think, not the re uh, hunters, but uh, not the runners, but the hunters, if I'm not mistaken. Part of the quest requires us to find eggs on the ground. Then we're essentially uh, going onto the eggs and are triggering these uh, mates, uh, these female uh, revisors that are attacking us because they want to protect their offspring. We just need to kill them, two of them to be precise. But in order to do that, of course, we need to clear the area first. Which, by the way, is going very much according to plan. Elixir of Dream Vision. Cool. too early. I was still clearing 
the runner. And there's yet another runner. Who is patrolling here, which is uh, always a good uh, idea to clear out the entire area. So that even if uh, situations like these are happening, it has space to to run to uh, to this. more patrols are coming in. Holy smokes! Good, another quest successfully done. just going to regain mana and off to the next quest before we do that though since we're not going to come <clears throat> here anytime uh, soon might as well trade in that quest and get a nice little update so yeah, we can now summon uh, Larkovi I'm not even sure is that guy normal or is he an elite doesn't matter he's orange so rather not going to do it all right off to the next quest okay so we've made our way all the way down here to the hive i potentially won't be doing the hive fully now just killing uh bugs until i get the pheromone sample and I want to finish the bones as well as the scales of the uh, dinosaurs that was the last one that I needed from the so now it's just a couple of dinomatrons and then we should be fine uh, as always careful with the bugs Their social creatures come in large quantities and do have nasty abilities. So I'll just grind a few of them until I, I get uh, what I'm looking for. Fast forward for you guys. Good. We have worked our way now through the Diametrons, and all we need to do is get the uh, trappers and visit the Western Pylon and then we do have uh, finished our first kind of round there are of course little bits and pieces that we uh, have forgotten for instance there is research equipment here but that can still be uh, done in the next round also the high wall sample but yeah let's finish what we've done so far and end the quests Okay, I grabbed the research equipment. I couldn't let that just uh, sit there. That would have been too inefficient. But let's get out of here and just visit the pylon and be done with it. All right, keeping all the way to the edge of the map, we managed to be done uh, with that. Time for us to leave this godforsaken place and uh, trade in our quests. Perfect. Time for our trade in and the quote unquote XP bomb. Uh, that's a nice uh, bracer. 15 overall stats versus 12. And although the stamina is a little bit lower, our intelligence would go up quite a, uh, quite a bit. So let's consider that for now. Not a bad bracer, a bit of an upgrade for us. I think ours are better. Good. 
good. We need to, anyways, travel to uh, Gajis Gizam. And we got a final uh, quest trade in. Which, by the way, is the reason why I want to get all of the pylons. Because it allows you to get three quests. Quote unquote, for the price of one. And if you did do a little round trip you can easily end up with three uh, quests here and I think there's that now opens the option for continuous buffing The pylons were the ones uh, that were giving the buffs. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, we do have quite a few um, of the stones collected because I think bonus buffs might always be helpful. Um, but I also think that uh, this is a great place to end today's episode. We've gone long enough all the way up to uh, 52 and yeah 70 percent so i think that's pretty much it uh, i would say thanks a lot for watching if you enjoyed uh, what you've seen leave a comment and a like down below and the next time i think we're continuing with uh, the Yunguro crater and maybe a little bit of extra uh, stuff here and there have a good one take care bye bye